little nigga don't know it get dangerous. Danger. Ooh. Ooh. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the former Utah Ute, Matt Gay, to get this one started. And off we go from Uptown Charlotte. This fielded right at the goal line. A dangerous return man showing it here. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Over, 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 over. <laughs> A run for Debo here to start the drive. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The last run good for two here, second and eight. Here's Rodgers. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Throwing now is Rodgers. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. On second down, here's Debo. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guys' pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring your running backs back in to block. Or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game. But in this case, they made him pay for that oversight and picks up a nice game. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. On first and ten, it's Samuel. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Now, Rodgers throwing on second down. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Oh, there's going to be a little bit of regret there because they certainly have the chance to get off the field here just giving up a field goal attempt. But they couldn't get that stop on third down. Now they have to hunker down because guess what? That drive continues. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A nice run there, nine yards. And it'll be second down. No score after one on EA Sports. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Now Rodgers. This is caught. Touchdown. 
Debo Samuel from four yards out. And the NFC takes it all the way down the field to score on their opening drive. Rodgers will throw for it. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. He's got daylight. He's at the 40. 10, 5. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a big way. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Taken from about the 12. Turns the kick 88 yards to the house. And the Commanders have moved out in front. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. Well, from deep in the inside, he's going to bring this out. And he doesn't even get this to the 10. He's taken down at the 9. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. They'll begin by running here with Samuel. And just not much to be had there. One yard out to the 10. Here's second and 9, just a yard on that last run. Another carry for the wide receiver, Samuel. Despite some tough running, he's still wrangled down shy of the 15. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for first. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Rodgers going to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. Now the NFC going to take a timeout. Their second. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Looking to throw Lawrence. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And it's a fumble. And it's scooped up by the NFC. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And they had just picked it off to get the football. They fumble it right back. I looked over to both sidelines. A lot of scrambling to find the helmets. Yeah, you can almost, I mean, you know both sides are screaming sudden change. Because when sudden change happens, that's a defensive call to get back out on the field. There's been a fumble, so an interception type of a turnover. You've got to get back out there and play. These guys just want to get to the bench and gather themselves and regroup a little bit. Let's see if these offenses can settle in. And he's going to be taken down. Sacked back at the two. Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The numbers for the NFC on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and forever. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Well, they'll get 15, but that won't be nearly enough. It's fourth down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here we go on fourth down. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down at 17. Now Lawrence. This will be caught by Harold Carmichael. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 
This is Eric Dickerson, four-time rushing champ. That is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Eric Dickerson taking it in from seven yards away as his guys are able to extend their lead. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When you'd line up, go ahead, and oh, there's a fake, and oh, he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15, the risk-reward, it's just not there. So risky to get 15 yards on a fake. And you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. To throw again on second down. Rodgers looking downfield for Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. Now the NFC going to use their third and final timeout as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. That's to his running back, complete. And he will be taken down, but not before he's got the NFC first down. So they take a chance on fourth. Why not in this game? And it's going to pay off with a new set of downs. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the veteran Richard Sherman. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. A fairly short kick for the 14. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Yeah. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to, how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Inside give to Dickerson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Backed up here. Tough spot. Needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, Lawrence flush to his right. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. They'll start following the interception in great field position at the 45. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? 
Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. A big completion there gets double coverage. And Charles, one of those guys had a pick on him earlier. Yeah, so he didn't allow that to deter him at all, did he? In fact, it probably was a challenge. Okay, you got a pick before. <laughs> it's my turn now to make the big play. And that's exactly what he did. And he is in. Touchdown NFC. Debo Samuel with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the NFC able to draw a bit closer. They'll look to throw. Out to his left. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Micah Parsons. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. The 30, 10, 5, and he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a big way. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. On second and 11 now, Lawrence. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Lawrence will throw. And he fires one, but incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sideline. And look at this. It's a fake. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. A big breakdown defensively there on the fake punt. Turns into a huge play and a first down. Throwing again here. It's Lawrence. Right side. That's complete to Gronkowski. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now Lawrence on first down. And he's got Gronkowski yet again. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time 18 more and a first down. Going to give it up the middle. Here's Dickerson. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time. Ball at the nine on second and eight. Dickerson on the handoff. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And when the defense wins and gives up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. Gay's kick is good, and that'll push the lead up to eight. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet. Okay, being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. And remember, despite giving up the field goal, this is still a one-score game. They're in need of a touchdown and a two-point conversion. A field goal on this drive likely doesn't do them much good. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. 
Throwing is Rodgers. Looking left side, and it's complete. And touchdown! Reggie Gilliam, 70 yards. And the NFC is within a two-point conversion of tying this thing up. They'll try and throw for it. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. And the failure to convert and tie the game, now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try to bury them with another score? And how about defense? There he goes, left side. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Eric Dickerson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. That's caught at the one. And he finds his way into the end zone as the lead moves to 10. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Rodgers to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Now Rodgers, got to have this one. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Now Rodgers. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to save every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion... And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And the command... GG's, buddy. GG's, buddy.